tanto jugando suelto como en competición. Tanto si se trata de un rápido 9 hoyos o de un gran 36. Tanto si juegas bajo presión o arrasando, siempre das lo mejor de ti. Nuevo Fuel de Food Joy. Good afternoon. Welcome back to the 2022 PGA Championship here at Southern Hills Country Club, Tulsa, Oklahoma. We are pleased to be joined by Tyrrell Hatton. Tyrrell, welcome to what is your eighth PGA Championship, if you can believe it. Um, I don't think you'd spend much time here at Southern Hills. So what is it about this golf course that now that you've been around it once or twice, um, maybe surprised you a little bit that you hadn't heard about or kind of caught your eye? Uh, well, yeah, obviously it's it's all new for me this week, having not been here. And to be honest, I don't remember hardly any of, any of it from watching it on TV when I was back here in, was it 07? Okay. Um, I guess I was a little bit surprised to see the the length of the rough, but with the type of grass it is, you don't need, you don't really need long rough because if you're in it, you've got no control really of the golf ball. You're, you're gonna struggle to um, stop it on the greens, even though the greens seem fairly firm, uh, fairly soft at the moment. Um, so I guess that makes a, a nice change from what you'd, I guess, normally expect from majors where if you miss the fairway, it's like, cool, enjoy hitting it out 100 yards. So um, at least you have a little bit more of a chance this week, but your short game's gonna have to be really good because you're gonna miss greens. What part of your game would you like to be on this week that you think matches up really well with this golf course that's going to give you the best chance come Sunday? Uh, well, typically I've in obviously I haven't performed particularly well in majors over the my short career so far, um, but in the in the few that I have actually registered some top tens, I've generally putted quite nicely, which is typically a strength for me. Um, so it'd be nice to obviously have a good week on the greens. Um, you know, even if you're playing bad, you're still going to give yourself opportunities for birdies. And if you can roll a few of them in, it feels like you, you get a bit of momentum going, even if your swing doesn't feel particularly great. So, um, yeah, for me, hole in putts is, is a massive part of the week and, you know, as it is for other guys too. But, um, I think that helps me be a little bit calmer on the golf course if I, if I am actually holding putts. One more question, if I may. What attribute or characteristic of this golf course is most dangerous that can get a player in trouble? Is it uh, the length of the golf course in general? Is it the, the uh, sloping greens? Is it the runoffs? Uh, what, what part is that you, you want to be extra careful with? Uh, Probably, well, I think depending where they put some of the pins and depending where you miss it, chipping, I guess you could probably look pretty stupid fairly quickly. Um, you know, over the back of 18, for example, it, the roughs are a little bit longer there than some of the other uh, areas around other holes. Um, and there's just, this, you're just chipping straight downhill it, and there's, it's not too big a shelf at the back there anyway, so I mean you could have a 40-yard pitch shot for your next if you're if you're not too careful. So that I think short game is going to be really important this week. As I said, you're going to miss greens. Um, if you are going to miss them, hopefully you, you kind of get lucky with where your miss ends up, and you've got a you've got half a chance to save par. Um, like I said, you could probably run up a decent number fairly quickly. We're going to go to microphone one here. So talking about majors, this there's a common denominator for the Open Championship. I mean, the type of courses, the feel, all that. Do you think there's a common denominator for PGA Championships? And there's a way that you have to prepare for them. Um, well, I think, well, the PGA and USGA seem to be in a bit of a fight about who's got the longest golf course and who's got the longest par three. Um, It'd be nice if they're a bit more creative with course setup and rather than just trying to make it hard through length all the time. Um, PGA seems to just be getting longer each time we come back and play. 
So you, do you think this week is a matter of length or is it other things? That well, it gets to the point of the further you hit it, yeah. you know, the, the kind of better it is. If, like I said, you know, this week's maybe slightly different with the, uh, if you are missing fairways, you're not just gouging it out like 80 yards and everyone's missing yeah. fairways. So if you get it the further down there, you get it, the, the easier it is to save par. Um, this week's going to be uh, one I lost sort of around the greens, really. Um, but yeah. Yeah. So in, we had conversations about the Ryder Cup this morning. The two captains came by, and uh, and kind of there's starting to be a vision about what's going to happen in Rome. No, I mean we have 500 days, but but it's there. So, I mean, can you talk a little bit about what you learned in the last Ryder Cup and the memories of that, and what is your vision for Rome? What's going to happen there? Uh, well, obviously it's, it'll be another really special week for uh, the 24 guys that are, that are playing. Um, obviously, I've been pretty fortunate to play the last two. Um, whistling Straits is a really disappointing week in terms of the result. Um, and hopefully, whoever's in the team for Europe and in Rome can... Uh, See, win the win the trophy back. So yeah, we'll 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 see. We're going to uh, go out to Steve Demeglio. Steve, you're Tyrrell. Go ahead, sir. Tyrrell, could you give me your impressions on a unique corner of the golf course where you have the second green, the third tee, the fifth green, the sixth tee, the sixth green, and the seventh tee? All within a pitching wedge of each other. Uh, but I mean, they're going to have to be fairly careful with how they set the golf course up because with where some of the tee boxes are, you might not be able to tee off, or the group that are waiting on the tee having to wait for the guys to tee off on the next hole to then get out of the way before they can hit their shots in. Um, so if they don't set the course up, in, in a way that, that the rounds could be just stupidly slow, which at the end of the day, no one wants. Um, you want to get round in a reasonable time. So hopefully, uh, hopefully they're fairly smart with, with how they do that. And Joe, every player I've talked to so far has said there are going to be backups. Um, how do you handle backups when you're playing? Backups? What? When there's like two two groups on a tee waiting to hit yeah, the back. Oh, it's, okay. Sorry, I was just thinking about back. So, what was the first part of the question? <laughs> well, how do you deal with those when you're playing? Uh, chat with your caddy. Uh, maybe have a chat with your playing partners. There's really not much else you can do. Um, it's not like we're allowed to go on our phone and scroll through Twitter and, and Instagram and keep yourselves. All of a sudden, you've lost half an hour, and then you're ready to hit again, um, like you can do if you're just playing with your friends, and it's pretty slow. Thank you, sir. All righty. Tyrrell, thank you so much for spending finding us, and uh, have a terrific week here in Tulsa. Thank you. El nuevo Pro SL no tiene clavos, pero tiene un agarre increíble. Con una plancha de carbono adicional para optimizar el retorno de energía y un nuevo y moderno diseño, el zapato original de máximo rendimiento sin clavos tiene algunas ventajas importantes.